Hey everybody, welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Art is getting ready to go on a business trip and one of the ways that we found that you can save money is by packing your own food. So I thought I'd show you what I'm packing for him and the older kids. So we don't have everything quite out yet, but I'll show you what I have so far. Pretzel sticks are Art's personal favorite. They're going to be driving at least eight hours. So this is what we call his wake up food when he starts getting really tired and just he needs a little distraction. These are what Art prefers when he's driving. So we have one bag for one day and then on his trip back he can have the other bag. I also made, I think this is 12 sandwiches. So that's three per person or it'll last two days, however they want to divide it up. But those are turkey and chicken sandwiches. I also cut up some carrots. So we have carrot sticks for them for their lunch. Have apples, both for both days going there and then coming back. I have yogurt for one day. I just picked those up at Aldi. And then I did buy the convenience already pre-cut cheese, one for one day, one for the other day. And then I'm also sending them with a package of the already sliced turkey breast. Then we have just some snack foods to go with that cheese. We've got some crackers there, and then some round Ritz type crackers, and then some trail mix there. The other thing that I'm working on is making pitas. Now, pitas are pretty much glorified pizza dough put on a skillet. I'll show you how I make them. This is a favorite of our trips. It just, they taste great. They don't make a mess in the car because they're more like a, um, they just don't have that loose crumb like bread, so they hold up a lot better, keeping your car a lot cleaner. So Art's going to be able to take those pitas and put that lunch meat on it if he would like to, or he can just eat it plain. Whatever the case is, I'm giving him a lot of different options because I'm not sure what his situation is going to be like. Okay. I've made the dough for the pizza. I'm going to start rolling that out for the pitas in just a minute. And then the girls over here are helping make some Cookies. oatmeal, vanishing oatmeal. Whoopsies, vanishing oatmeal raisin cookies. Art is going to be gone for two lunches, one breakfast, and one dinner. The breakfast will be at the hotel, so they'll have their choice of a hot breakfast there as part of their package with the hotel, so I'm not worrying about that at all. They'll have lunch. I have their lunch taken care of for both days, and then dinner, they're probably going to have to go out to eat for that. There's no way that Art is going to be cooking and I'm not going to be with him so he will have to uh, figure out what he wants to do for a meal when he's away and then the next day for dinner he would he should be back home at some point for dinner it may be a late dinner that's why I'm giving him a lot of different options one of the things I did notice is it's very hard to pack fresh fruits and vegetables that will hold up for car trips. That's why we're doing carrots and apples. They seem to hold up the best. Bananas do not hold. They squish and they're just messy. So that's not a good option for car trips. Yogurt is pretty transportable. You just have to remember to bring a spoon with you. And the cheese here was actually the same price as if it was a block cheese. I believe it was two... 75 a pound this was a half a pound so those two packages came to 275 the chicken breast was 275 a pound at aldi the bread was 75 cents carrots are $1.29 for two pounds this is about one pound here so we're looking at let's see about 74 cents worth of carrots the pretzels were a dollar nine and I'm trying to think, remember what the crackers were. I want to say this was like $2.09 and then $1.79 for the wheat thins. And then this was, again, a splurge item here. This was $4.79. And the apples are $2.49 for a three-pound bag. And this was almost two-thirds of a bag. So that was, what's that, about $2 worth of apples and the yogurt were $0.52 cents each. To keep Art's food cool, I'm throwing in a reusable ice pack, one of those that came in the med, those med chests, and I'm going to let that freeze. The hotel they're staying at has a refrigerator, and I do believe it has a freezer, so they'll be able to freeze this in that freezer overnight so the food will stay cold on the way home.
all made. And the last thing I need to make are the pitas. I have my dough right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll them out, get them cooked up. I do not roll these out as soon as when I make my flour tortillas. I just roll them out and put them on a hot griddle like that. You can see I have a couple going here. And then you just cook them until they're golden brown on medium, medium high heat. And when they're done, they should look something like that. And then it's just like a flatbread. They can put their lunch meat in it. They can wrap it up. They can tear it. Whatever they want. Super portable. They love how they taste and not nearly as messy in the car. I have a thermal here from 31. These are awesome because they hold the food cold for a really long time. We're gonna put an ice pack in here too, but everything should fit in there just like so. There, everything's packed in here. And put it in the refrigerator for tonight, and then tomorrow morning we'll just throw in that ice pack, and he will be good to go. So everything came to right around $25 for all of this food. That will take care of two full lunches for four people, for right around $3 a meal for them. Not as cheap as eating at our home, but you really cannot find good quality food for three dollars when you're traveling thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video bye, bye.